So, a quick explanation for those that are not familiar with autopilot and with Teslas and how they work. Uh, when this steering wheel is gray, that means I am in complete control of the car, but the car decide, has the ability to go into full self-driving mode or autopilot if it doesn't have full self-driving. It's the same icon, it's a gray steering wheel. If the car can't go into that mode, the steering wheel just disappears. Now, once it's in that mode, the steering wheel turns blue. So when the steering wheel is blue and it's a solid, mostly solid blue circle, which I'll show you in a moment, the car is doing all the steering, the braking, and the accelerating. Uh, I'm not doing any of that. Now I can press the accelerator to override it, and sometimes I do that. Sometimes I subconsciously do that. When I think it's taking too long to do something, or I'm just impatient and just want to go, I'll touch the accelerator to push the car forward, and that does not disable the full self-driving. Anything else I do, if I pull on the steering wheel at all, it disables it. If I touch the brake, it disables it. In either case, I'm in full control of the car again. So I just wanted to explain that for those that didn't know it. So what you'll see if I put it into full self-driving mode is the steering wheel turns blue and then it's ready to go. There's a pedestrian walking down the road here. where it goes through the um, tricky part underneath the railroad or the railway bridge. It's twisty up here. In 500 feet, turn right onto Eno Street. there's a stop sign here but there's not or I'm not sure it doesn't show a stop sign on the map now this curve right here used to be just a curve it was not a stop sign but now it is but that entrance over there is new so there used to be just a through right here so there would be no reason to turn on a blinker which is why I think it's not turning on the blinker I think it's a map issue wipers not wiped because they're turned off. Brilliant. Now turn right on to South Churton Street. This will be Ken right on red. successfully done that. I did not touch the accelerator. It did that all on its own. Just in 
engage back there, but I probably didn't have to. Uh, it's just because he was backing up, and if he were to keep backing up, I don't know if this car would have the ability to back up to get out of his way. Oh, double stop signs again. So it's stopping because of the genius move to put stop signs in the back of stop signs. All right, well, we have obviously water on the windshield, leaves. Uh, I have not turned on the windshield wiper. I have not wiped off that area up there. Um, just leaving it as is right now. And I'm gonna turn on full self-driving. We're just in a neighborhood with unmarked roads. There's no lines on the road. And uh, see if it can handle this. through the stop sign correctly. Seems to be doing pretty good, finding its way. I'll speed it up a little bit. I slowed it down just in case. But it was looking good. And I don't have anything in NAV, so it's just going to try and leave the neighborhood as usual. like leaving the neighborhood so I'm going to stop it, turn it, and point it this way. It was trying to go around that pile of leaves back there. There's a bunch of leaves in the road here. needles and leaves. Turn it down a little bit. Road pretty covered with leaves here. I actually don't want to go right. I'm going to turn that off. 